I want to explain to you what we mean by flow media. In the following lessons, we're going to be talking a fair bit about flow media. Now, flow media is a term that we have coined to describe the combination or the bringing together of media beds and raft beds. Now, just to step back a little bit in our personal history, probably about eight years ago, we started to think about the idea of combining the two together. Because here in Australia, when we started off doing aquaponics, we just started doing media beds. And that's what we did for quite a while. I don't know why, I still don't know why we went down that path, but that's the path we went down initially. And we had all our systems, our small home systems that we were developing uh, for people then and experimenting with, were all media based. Then, of course, as we studied more material, and we actually had Dr. James Rokosi come out to Australia, a group of us got together and threw in some money and got him to come out, and it was the most wonderful experience. And, um, you know, he's the grandfather of aquaponics in, as far as raft systems go, uh, for all his time and his research at the University of Virgin Islands. So we were very privileged to be able to get him to come out to Australia. And, of course, uh, all their systems are raft-based. And we noticed from that time on that uh, in America, the systems that we would see on the internet and the places I would visit when I started going to America were all ran raft systems. So it, it, it occurred to me that, well, maybe we should try and combine the two. So we started doing that at my place. We built some raft systems. We attached the media beds to them because by this time, with the experimenting that I was doing and the um, things we were observing and making note of, we noticed that the material and the things that were growing in media beds had fantastic growth. And then of course with my studies into um, you know, microbes etc in the soil, you know, the soil food web and all that kind of material, it becomes very apparent that we need to be able to mimic nature in the systems we build. And there's no better place to mimic nature perfectly than in a well-organised media bed system. Now if we can combine the two, the media bed then becomes a massive nutrient bank in the aquaponic system. And I've got to tell you that our flow media ideology or methodology, whatever we like to call it, works absolutely brilliantly. We now have some of our students that are building farms, one in particular that's building farms all around the world. And these farms are all based strictly on our flow media technology. And the flow media system works really, really well. It gives us the best of both worlds combined together. Now, our terminology flow media, we had the privilege of going to America and actually teaching some farms there how to combine the two. And um, in America, people tend to call it a hybrid system. They've not really picked up on our name of flow media. That's okay, we don't care as long as they do it the way that it re I believe it really ought to be done, and that is combining the two. And in our commercial aquaponics section, as we get further into this training course, you'll find we give you the uh, proportions we believe worked, work really well with a commercial system. Now, even in a home system, it pays to have the both because there's no better way to grow lettuce and leafy greens, fast growing things, than in a raft system, in a water-based raft system. And in my personal belief, there's no better way to grow um, high demand plants, fruiting plants like tomatoes and cucumbers and the like, than in a media bed. And in fact, just this week on our Facebook page, we put up a post about that showing how well tomatoes grow in media beds. And we had some interesting questions from people, particularly in the USA, whose thinking had all been geared around running everything in a raft bed. And one guy even said that he'd talked to an aquaponics farmer who said that it was impossible to grow tomatoes in an aquaponics system. Well, hey, that's a bit funny as far as I'm concerned because look at some of these photographs we've got here of tomatoes growing in this farm in Hong Kong that we've recently been there to film. Just look at the tomatoes, they're unbelievable. And they're not, it's not fake photography, this is real. You can grow the most fantastic high demand plants like tomatoes in an aquaponic system when you incorporate our flow media technology. And that's what flow media means. It's about flow, which represents the water side, and media, obviously, which represents the media side or the gravel grow beds that are incorporated into a system. Now, if you do that technology, you will have all the wonderful benefits of pure food. And this is what separates what we do from some other uh, people out there that are promoting things like integrated aquaculture, is another name they like to give it, or decoupled aquaponics. Um, they completely ignore the whole soil food web, the whole business about the microbes and bacteria, protozoas, pneumatodes, all these wonderful things that exist in a well-ordained 
soil garden or soil system. And anyone out there that's done a permaculture course will know exactly what I'm talking about here. And that's so important to have that incorporated into our aquaponic system so that we can enjoy the benefits of pure food that is really very, very good for you because it's nutrient dense, because we're employing all those wonderful natural things into our system. Music